Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiespa and I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. And um, so yeah, I thought it is a, going to be uh, a nice day for some updates. Well, at least I hope. Uh, so uh, about, let me check, about two and a half months, three months ago, I did about uh, two very special Miltoni abscesses, at least for me. One of them, my most wanted one. Uh, not the uh, Rosalia uh, Xantia, but the Andrea West. Those two I really wanted to have uh, to add into my collection. So it started with the Andrea West and uh, also the Lilian, Lilian Mono, no something, a very <laughs> difficult name, but uh, basically black and white uh, uh, Miltoniopsis. So those two I found uh, via uh, eBay and it was a first part of my uh, birthday unboxing. And I will have the video, the link uh, uh, in, uh, in, in this video, so you can check it out if you want. And also, that's about two, uh, one and a half months, two months ago, I did uh, go to Landsbergen again. And I did find two beautiful uh, zygopetalium orchids. Well, actually, one zygo, uh, one zygopetalium and one uh, zygonesia. And that one I did film... Uh, um, I did film, I should say. So that one is uh, that repot. So that's on my, my channel. So I will also have a link for that uh, video as well. Uh, I didn't film the Miltoni uh, probably because I was too busy. Um, so I don't have a uh, repot up pot video about them, but I do have an unboxing like I said. So, but today we're going to see how they do. And uh, first of all, the Miltoni Opsis, I did uh, a repot into self-watering that's uh, about two and a half months ago. And the Zygopetrium and the Zygonesia, that is, those are now in the new uh, setup for one and a half months. So, um, I'm curious to see. I hope you are curious to see as well how they are doing. We have some good news but we have some bad news as well so uh, yeah let's check it out and find out what is the good and what is the bad here we go so yeah and there they are and it's pretty obvious what is uh, going to be the bad news i think but i hope it's also pretty obvious what is going to be the good news uh yeah let's start with the bad and it's this one it's so so sad but yeah, see, this is a goner. I, there is some green left, but you can see even that new growth is going over. This is the uh, Miltoniopsis Lilian Nakamoto Tanto. And it's very, very sad. But I couldn't save her. I, uh, I tried my best, but this one was in, in very bad shape. It didn't have any roots. So uh, that's why I did a, a repot on it so I could clean it up. And the roots, um, yeah, basically I left a few. And I think in the end we will, uh, in this video, we will take it out of the pot because this is a goner anyhow. But we can, uh, can have a look at the, at the roots that are left there. But yeah, I couldn't get it to grow new roots, sadly. I did try my best. I did, did my, uh, basically, this, yeah, no, basically I did the same like I always do. And normally I have great successes, but sometimes whatever we do, whatever we try, it, it just doesn't work. And uh, I'm not ashamed to film this, this just happens. And I think it's actually very important that we growers that are uh, like to uh, film things uh, in the grow room uh, show also the things that do not work so well. It just happens. I don't know. Maybe this plant was sick. Maybe it just needed something different. But then again, uh, from me, but then again, uh, I did what I always uh, do with my Meltoni abscesses. The rest I have great success with, but this one, sadly not. And yeah, this one is very uh, hard to replace, I think. But I must admit... I must admit, if I had to choose, I rather would keep my uh, Andrea West because that is basically impossible or almost impossible to find. Not completely, otherwise I wouldn't find this one. But um, yeah, let's first of all, I think you can see new roots in a pot. I don't want to take her out because I don't want to dis disturb those roots too much. And also she is making a 
flower spike with three buds on. I hope you can see it. Um, so yeah, this one is, is doing way, way better. Same treatment as the other one, but you can see. Sometimes you just need uh, a bit of a stronger plant and yeah, or maybe the other one wasn't as healthy. I don't know. But luckily my Andrea West, the yellow one is doing uh, fairly okay. It's still recovering. It's take, uh, it does uh, take up quite some energy to get it uh, growing again, but it's making quite a few new roots. I, I just cannot show uh, all of you uh, on camera, but trust me, there are quite a lot of new uh, rooting root tips uh, coming from that plant here. So yeah, I'm going to let it bloom because I just wanted to be sure that it's really on the Andrea West. I will take a heck of a lot of pictures from, from the bloom and then I probably take the spike off. Not completely sure because she is rooting very well, but just starting to root. So she can use the energy for, uh, for making a whole root system, of course. So thereby I think I'm gonna cut the spike uh, within a, 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 few, a few weeks. As soon as it starts open, starts blooming, like I said, I'm going to take some pictures and then I'm going probably going to take it off. So that is, uh, those are the Miltoniopsis. Yeah, that one is very, very sad, but I'm going to try to one day to uh, replace it. And this one took me about four or five years to find. Uh, so yeah, I probably someday, somewhere I will find another one and hopefully a better plant than, than this one to start with. So those are the, the Miltoniopsis. Uh, like I said, in the end of the video, we will take it out of the pot just to have a look for those who are interested. Like me, I wanted to know what's going on there. Well, actually, probably not much, but anyhow. This is the Zygonesia, the beautiful purple one. Well, that looks still quite good, doesn't it? Beautiful green leaves. We have new growths and we did have new root tips when we uh, repotted this one. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think we did. So let's uh, take it out of the pot. Oh yeah, just a little piece out of the pot and I can already see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new roots starting. And quite a lot of them, quite a lot of them. So yeah, let me check the back. Maybe we have some new, uh, there is a new, uh, growth starting as well. I hope you can see it somewhere around there, but let's see if we have some new roots there as well. Well, we have some here and there in the middle of the screen, I'll probably, sorry for the glare. So yeah, this one is doing phenomenally well. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, this is what we want to see, of course. <laughs> Only one and a half months, you guys, in this new setup. Don't forget, only one and a half months. So for, for Zygonesia, that's pretty good. Then we have a Zygopetalum. We did repot as well in that uh, video. Well, actually I did some parts of this, I think. I think if I remember correctly, we did follow this one completely. And just because of the time, I did skip some parts here. If, like I said, if I remember correctly. I see no roots here, this one, well, actually, I see here are the roots. <laughs> you probably saw them quicker than I did. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you see some parts of Cintiq in there because they like the Cintiq. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. Yeah, this one is doing fantastic. These ones are just taking off and these plants were way healthier uh, then it, when I get them, then those two. So you can see the difference there. If you have a healthy plant, uh, it's it's just so much easier to get them adapted and grow on, in, especially in a new new setup. Um, so yeah, I did repot those because this one was showing uh, new root tips, just uh, two just starting. So I thought that is the time to do it. This one hadn't had any good roots left. So why wait? Uh, like I said, I, I did it before and I had great success. Otherwise I maybe would have left it in a pot. But then again, if the, the potting media is, is breaking down badly, why would you wait for new roots? I think that's, 
yeah, some people do think uh, different about that opinion. That's okay about, about that situation, I sh should say. But I uh, take them out because, like I said, if, if the environment is very unhealthy, why would I uh, leave them in there? So that's why I did a repot on this one. But like I, uh, like I said, um, like I promised, we will take it out. So I'm going to put those back into uh, their uh, place. Um, and then we will have a look at this one. And like I said, those three, perfect. Nothing wrong with it. It goes completely well. And I think they will be, uh, become beautiful, healthy plants. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look. I don't expect much like we uh, just uh, did um, discuss. I'm going to save this tag for the new one. I'm just going to think positively and I will find an, another one, a healthier one. <laughs> So let's put it there. Okay, well, here we go. This would be strange if I found very healthy new roots, wouldn't it be? So yeah, this is just the old roots that I did uh, leave on there. As you can see. And uh, this, this is still fairly wet, so moist, I should say. I did water them very, very carefully. And like I said, it did have the exact same treatment at the Andrea West, so yeah, it's not. Uh, it was on the same spot as well in my green uh, in the orchid room. So yeah, I just can pull it out now because not, not much going is going to happen. As you can see, I uh, well actually now you can see. Those roots are still damp, so I didn't let them dry up. But then again, they were mushy and, and damaged. But I thought, well, who knows? Maybe it will try to shoot out. But I cannot see a single attempt to a new roots, to be honest. It's just nothing, nothing at all. And it had a bit of a hole there, that new growth here. Just above my finger. So maybe it had some slug damage. I don't know. But yeah. Maybe we can check the rhizome. I don't know. Maybe it's too late. Maybe it had fusarium or something. Who knows? Hmm. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> it's very dusty. <laughs> the leaves are a bit dusty. But uh, anyhow. Uh, yeah. Hard to tell, I think, because it's already started to rot. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's check the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot see any obvious purple, pinkish color. Check again. No, nothing. So let's pull out of that new growth. Well, you could see it started to rot as well. See, it's very brown there, so this one. Uh, obviously, it started to yellow up as well already, but yeah, this, this one wouldn't have made it. Sad, 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 sad. But then again, I'm just happy it, it, this is not my Andrea West in the end. So that's, I try to make the, the most posit positive out of it. But still, it's very, very sad because this one will be hard to replace as well. But it happens, like I said, and I'm not afraid to show it. I, I, uh, I think it's very important. This is how we learn to grow. And luckily, I know that I, I in my opinion, I did nothing wrong because I did the same to the uh, Miltonia, uh, Miltoniopsis Andrea West. That one obviously did, uh, is doing very well. So, yeah. Well, there uh, you see her. This is uh, the Andrea West. And the Lillian was just next to it over here. So yeah, light levels pretty much the same and the same treatment. So yeah, just uh, I wasn't fortunate enough to have to get a strong, uh, strong Miltoniopsis Lillian. But uh, like I said, luckily she is still there and she's going to bloom. And then I'm pretty sure I had the Andrea West. I think 80% I'm sure, but you never know. Maybe it's mislabeled, but soon we will find out. So um, yeah, I'm look, really looking forward to that, uh, that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you like the updates, especially I can imagine on the repots. 
uh, it's nice to see how they are doing uh, after a month, two or three, something like that. At least uh, I like to, to, to make them. So uh, like I said, let me know and uh, we can probably uh, do more, some more updates. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions of, about a video or something like that, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't already have, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And for now, thank you very much for watching. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.